Hey, Journey Church family, so good to be with you again. It is day 21 of our fasting and prayer time together, and we made it. I want you to take a big, deep breath if you're watching this, and I also want uh, to just congratulate you. That's a feat, man. That's awesome that you uh, pursued God through these 21 days through prayer and fasting. Maybe some of you have done this for the first time, and I pray that God blew your mind, exceeded your expectations. On behalf of Pastor Scott and Raquel, uh, we, we wanna just say congratulations, that's amazing. They're so proud of you. Our staff and our pastors are so proud of you. And we wanna know that we've been cheering you on and praying for you this entire time. And we pray the breakthrough that you experienced was incredible. For those that are like, man, I'm, Josh, I'm still waiting for that breakthrough. I'm still waiting for the answered prayer. Continue. The beautiful thing about this time of prayer and fasting Jesus said that these should be regular things that we do. If you haven't experienced it yet, I wanna challenge you, take it a step further. Commit to some more time praying and fasting and truly seeking God still for that answer because we know from even from our reading that God is a God who wants to answer. So let's dive into that today. The scripture that we read is found in Luke 11, nine through 10. It says this, I tell you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, it will be opened. I, I, wanna, I wanna pray that truth over you in power and in boldness today with an expectation. I love those scriptures, it's amazing. Even as I'm reading that, how many times it says God will. The door will be opened. If you knock, it will be opened. But God loves when we persevere in that prayer, when we continue to seek Him. And a mentor of mine once told me this, God loves when you come to Him continually. Maybe, maybe you're asking for something and, and sometimes you've been in this fast and you said, man, I, I feel a little selfish always asking for these things, but I believe your Father in heaven loves to hear from you. He loves when you continue to come back to him and talk to him and pour out your heart to him and ask him for incredible things. And I believe that it is his will to answer. He's gonna answer in his way and in his timing and in his will, but he will answer you. I've heard this said before that God's answers are yes, no, and not now. And I always had a hard time with that until I became a dad and realized a good father tells his kids yes, no, or not now. My three-year-old would really love to drive my car. There's no way I'm giving her the keys because she's just not ready yet. But I'm excited for the day that I can hand those keys over. I think God maybe has some keys for some of you that are not now. It's a not now answer. Some of you have received a yes. Some of you maybe have received a no. Wherever you have found yourself in these 21 days, I wanna encourage you and let you know God is a good father who has good things for his kids in good timing, and he will answer. So let me pray that confidence over you as we end this fast. Again, congratulations. We're so excited that you made it this far, and we want to let you know that we're so proud of you as a church, and your Father in heaven is proud of you. Let's pray. God, thank you so much again for our congregation, for our church family that participated in this time of prayer and fasting. Lord, for the sacrifice and the dedication that they've had, Lord, I pray that you would return to them tenfold. God, that you would bless them, that you would show your faithfulness to them. Thank you that you are a God who wants to answer. You're a God who, who wants to to let his kids know I've listened to you and I've responded. Father, thank you for your faithfulness. I pray an encouragement and blessing over those who are still striving for that answer, who are waiting for that answer. God, fill them with faith, fill them with hope. God, for those that have received an answer, may they worship you and bless your name and praise you for it and be so grateful. God, I continue to ask that we would seek you, that these disciplines of prayer and fasting would become a regular part of who we are and who our church is, and that we would continue to see revival and breakthrough in the lives of Journey Church, our community, and beyond. And we pray that in the beautiful name of Jesus. Amen.
Church, we love you, and we're so proud of you again.